Hi, I'm Diane Marie Collins, and you have entered the DM Zone. We are visiting today with the cast of the play Becoming Julia Morgan, and I am now interviewing and visiting with Linda Wilson, and she is our director. Welcome. Thank you. It's great to be here. <laughs> um, my favorite question, I have to start with this, and we'll go from there. What came first, all this research on, on Julia Morgan or your role as a director, your craft? Great question. <laughs> um, I definitely am a director first. Uh, got to know about Julia Morgan when I became a member of the Monday Club in San Luis Obispo because that is a Julia Morgan site. There are three Julia Morgan buildings in San Luis Obispo and that's one of them. Uh, the most famous, of course, is Hearst Castle. And then there is one very small structure which is the Steve Zagar Playhouse. That's a long story, which maybe we can get into it. I hear? love that. Uh, well, <laughs> but what you're saying is that you've been directing those, so talk to me about some of your directorships. Oh, gosh. I started directing musicals back, um, I don't know if I should say how long ago. No, a few years ago. It's been a while. <laughs> and I never go that far. <laughs> <laughs> so there have been a lot. And um, I mainly got asked to be a musical director starting out was because they people who I was working with found out I played the piano. And they're like, oh, you can be a musical yeah, director. Yeah, because that way you can play the music while the uh, actors are learning the words. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And I, of course, had no idea what I was doing so I learned as I was going and I loved it grew to really enjoy being you know that person and so I had thoroughly like getting into a piece discovering what it's really about and and then teaching it and and then when it all comes together it's really that's an amazing experience well wow. how did you come to the pro to this play all right you heard about Julia Morgan but this play is not what you'd call common reading Absolutely. And it was through the board president at the time for the Monday Club. She came across the piece and, of course, knowing that I do theater, brought it to me and said, what do you think? And I took a look at it and said, absolutely, we have to do this. And especially because it was in a Julia Morgan site, it has extra meaning. And so we did it as a fundraiser for the Monday Club of San Luis Obispo. It was incredibly successful. We sold out almost every performance or came very close mm -hmm. and raised twice what I budgeted because I was, you know, really conservative. It's hard to know if something's going to sell. And, and it did. And what it showed were all the people that really want to know about Julie Morgan or that already know and want to see more. Mm -hmm. It was an amazing experience. Well, we've talked about this before with other cast members that there are over 700 sites in California alone. She's done other things, but just in California. Period piece. That's what this is because Julia was back at the turn of the century, the last turn of the century. Um, how do you get into costuming and thinking that whole mindset like a William Hurst? Mm -hmm. um, actually, costuming is one of my passions. I for, personally love clothes and either when I'm directing or I'm in a show, I want the costumes to be right. And I do really enjoy doing theater that tells a real story. There are real people. And because we have that with this piece, there's a wealth of information. There are photographs that you can go from. And plus, I do research into patterns and what things really looked like. You really are a, 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 a what can I say, a fan of costumes, because yeah. if you look at, at patterns and you understand all of that, you're really in there deep. Oh, yeah. I, I, um, I actually created a Victorian caroling quartets. And as I went through the process of developing and as we grew, I wanted, you know, real looking costumes. So I found a fabulous skirt pattern and gradually built a whole costume wardrobe around those. And, and, and the same thing is true with this piece. I actually just finished a, a new skirt for Julia because we didn't have it the first time and I really wanted <laughs> something that was right. So it's based on a 1915 skirt pattern and it's just, it's great. I love it's it. perfect. Right? Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> Uh, to me, that's fascinating. I grew up in a dance school, and my mother made costumes mm -hmm. from before you could buy the little dance school now ones that you buy. Yeah. Right. 
So that's fascinating. Yeah, I, I, I like making costumes. I actually prefer to sew costumes over clothes that I'm going to wear because they don't have to be perfect. It just has to look good from the outside. <laughs> So I'm like, okay, I can forgive myself if it's not exactly right. Yeah, and the stitch can be dropped here and there is what you're saying. Or, or it's just, you know, maybe the hem isn't exactly straight underneath, you know. Mm -hmm. It looks good from the outside, but mm -hmm. I'm good with that. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for sharing that inner piece about costumes. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> and you have been in the DM Zone. We are here visiting with the director of the play, Becoming Julia Morgan. Thanks again, Linda. Thank you. <laughs>